Welcome back to Living Local. Are you looking to catch a movie this weekend? Who isn't? Well, lucky for you, we have Mike Schultz, arts editor for The Reader, here to tell us all about what's new at Cineplex. All How are right. you, man? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Good. Good. I am doing well. And there's a bunch of movies coming out this weekend. Yeah. Holy cow. But before we get to what's coming, I really want to talk about Thelma. I do, too. Because, <laughs> uh, wow. Thelma was delightful. Did you get to see it? I did see Thelma. And uh, June Squibb, just give her all the awards. Give her all the awards. Just give her everything. Save a few for Richard Roundtree <laughs> yeah, but, and oh, Fred yeah, Heckinger. Yes, yes, uh, yes. It's amazing. Just it's good movie all around. Delightful. Yes, Thelma. It is basically an action comedy spoof about yeah. a 93-year-old woman, Thelma, played by the legendary June Squibb. <laughs> so good. Uh, she gets scammed over a, on a, a, you know, a phone scam where it's like, Grandma, help me. Send me $10,000. Uh. As happens, and she does, and uh, quickly finds out that her grandson is actually fine, uh, But and the parents are like, well, at least nobody got hurt. And Thelma says, I'm getting my money back, darn it. I don't care. <laughs> so she goes to a friend who has a, a mobility scooter, and they go through Los Angeles the trying to get the money back. Scooter. The mobility scooter. The mobility scooter. I don't know. <laughs> Tristan, I laughed so hard at this movie. First of all, it's incredibly sweet. It's, it's so it's, good. It's, it's, very, it's lovely in terms of the relationship between June Squibb and mm -hmm. great Richard Roundtree, late great. Um, and her relationship with her grandson is fantastic. But this had me laughing so hard. It's so earnest. It's and so I, earnest. And it's so and, honest. And and also silly as all get out because oh, yeah. there's that wonderful action movie cliche of people <laughs> walking in slow motion away from a big fiery explosion. And that happens here. It's just that they're not walking in slow motion. They're just slow because they're in their 80s and 90s. And they, they're they walking away from the explosion being real cool because they can't hear it. Yeah, right. So it's, it has wonderful, wonderful jokes that don't feel mean-spirited. No, not at um, all. It, its heart is in the right place. Yeah. Uh, and she's just charming for days. And she did her own stunts. Did you know she that? She did do her own stunts. <laughs> and some and of I them are that. impressive. I do love her, that. Her roll over the bed to get to oh, the dresser. Oh, man. I was just, I was roaring. If I had you, so much fun uh, with this movie. Honestly, one of the best of the year. So you should really yes. see Thelma it's if great. you can. And it's sticking around for another week, which is good yeah, for us. I think it might stick around for another week, too. It's making yeah. money. Everybody, it, it was full theater when we saw it. Good. It great. Oh, I loved it. So, new out in theaters. Yes. We're going back to day one. Quiet sure. Place. Day Why not? One. Why not go with a prequel, right? Yes. Our weekend is strange because they're both like the beginning parts of stories. Yes. And they couldn't be more different. Very uh, different. This is A Quiet Place Day One, which, as the title suggests, is a prequel to the 2018 and I want to say 2021 horror so. films uh, about the creatures from outer space who can't see anything but sure can hear pretty mm -hmm. well. And so this details the very first day of this in Manhattan where the meteors come down, all of the extraterrestrials leap out, begin killing everybody, and everyone quickly learns you better be quiet or else. Yes. Um, this, of course, started with a movie by our friends Scott Beck yes, and Brian Scott, Woods, yes. uh, directed by John Krasinski back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, a whole new crew, basically, and new cast. We have Lupita Nyong'o, uh, the Academy Award yes. winning great. We have uh, Joseph Quinn. Uh, we have Alex Wolf, uh, one of my favorite young actors mm -hmm. from Hereditary. Uh, Hereditary. And uh, it looks creepy. It looks great. It looks, and the effects look kind of amazing, yeah. i got to say, so far. It's a slick looking film. The first one is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's really, <clears> really, really think, good. And this one looks great. <laughs> I know, I can't wait. And there is going to be a cool local event because the filmmaker, is uh, Michael Sarnowski, yeah. is going to be here Saturday and engaging in a QA and a after the film with, uh, with our friends. Yes, Scott and Brian. that's amazing. It's yeah. amazing that they created that and that franchise is just Indeed. continuing. Yeah. But yeah, you should check it out. It's playing at Last Picture House and, and, and Cinemark. So. Cinemark. All right. All right. Kevin okay. Costner. He's back. <laughs> he is back. Horizon and American Saga now <laughs> part Chapter one of two. One. Part one of two, yes, coming out this summer. I'm curious. Okay. I I don't know that I will hate it, but maybe I will. I don't All know. Right. I'm I'm on the curious angle at the Me moment. Too. Me too. I'm, I'm Here's serious. the thing. I love westerns. I do too. I love R-rated westerns because you know that it was just not a fun, happy time. Of course. Back in the 1800s. Uh, so I like the honesty of them. I'm not crazy about three-hour-long movies in general, <laughs> sure. uh, which this one is. Uh, and it's so it's sending off a little bit of Dances with Wolves mm -hmm. vibes of a three-hour Costner western. But... Here it is, and it's uh, basically set in the, the Old West before the Civil War and following it uh, afterwards, and uh, I don't know much about the plot. I know a lot about the people in it. We have, uh, besides Costner himself, there is uh, Sienna Miller and Sam Worthington and mm -hmm. Giovanni Ribisi and Danny Houston. It's got a pretty packed cast, yeah. uh, and it's going to be pretty much 
this is going to be like, I think, the first Dune in many ways, where it's like, we're setting up the stuff that's going to happen. Sure. Unlike Dune, the part two is coming in a mere six weeks. <laughs> just August. If you can <laughs> believe it. Uh, so hopefully this makes money, or they're going to yeah. start to go, oh, should we really, should we even put the other one out there? I we'll will see. It looks great. Like, it looks, looks like a, beautiful. It looks gorgeous. Exactly. It's got f cool people in it. Uh, and Costner, is, it's, he can be fun in Westerns. Yeah. I've never seen Yellowstone, but the people I know who have say it's terrific. Yeah. So, yeah, I, this we'll has see. been on my radar for a while because every actor I know was submitted for this film. How last interesting. Year. <laughs> well, it's got about 750 <laughs> yeah. characters in it, so there's yeah. that. None of us got it, but okay. we all were there. So, yeah, I, I'm super <laughs> curious to see what happens. I Indeed. like Costner. Yeah. We'll see how it Me goes. Me too. Yeah. All right, fingers yeah. crossed. But yeah, three man, hours, right? Well, okay. let's go over what you talked about here today. We talked okay. about, well, Thelma, which you yes. need to all go see. And New in Theaters is a quiet place, day one, and Horizon, an American saga, Indeed. chapter one. So, hey, man. Thanks, dude. A I appreciate pleasure. it, right? Yay. You, you can read Mike's movie reviews online at rcreader.com. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.